Hello, my name is Graham Sweeney, Shell's Executive Vice President of Future Fuels and CO2. I'm delighted to talk to you about the Energy Challenge. At Shell, we see the Energy Challenge through the lens of the three hard truths. First, demand for energy will continue to surge. Today's period of economic slowdown may moderate demand growth for a while, but the longer term trend is still upwards. That's because 3 billion energy consumers will be added to the world's population during the first half of this century, and they too would like access to electricity and personal transportation. The second hard truth is that energy supplies from all sources will struggle to keep up with demand. So we will need rapid growth in renewables and nuclear alongside continued dependence on fossil fuels such as oil, gas and coal. And third, the environmental stress from producing and using all this energy is increasing. Chief amongst those stresses is averting the damaging impacts of climate change. In response, governments are this year attempting to agree a global framework for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Shell is an active participant in this process. We're working with policymakers and advocating the need for more effective CO2 regulation. It's clear that voluntary actions like setting emissions targets are not enough. Closer to home, we're increasing the efficiency of our operations, seeking to be first quartile, and working with our customers to help them use less energy. We're also applying our technical expertise to the realities of a carbon-constrained future by building a capability in carbon dioxide capture and storage because we know it will be central to meeting mid-century emissions reduction targets. Which also explains Shell's motivation to develop low CO2 sources of energy, including natural gas. We already hold the largest equity share of LNG capacity amongst private energy companies. And when it comes to fueling tomorrow's transport sector, we're investing in the commercialisation of second generation biofuels because we believe they, in combination with improved vehicle and fuel efficiency, will be central to restraining the growth of transport emissions. In all, Shell is well prepared for the energy challenge and we're working with government and society to help lead the way.